What's good everybody, Dargul here, back at it again with another video. But in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the biggest golden ultra necrozma hunt you have ever seen on this channel. Now we are going to be opening up a total of, actually, first let me show you guys the box. So we got a Dragon Majesty ETB, and some of you guys are probably thinking, Are we literally only opening up 10 booster packs? For the biggest hunt ever on the channel? Nah, son. That's not how we roll, bro. That's not how we roll. We don't just open up 10 packs anymore. That's the old Dark Ghoul. Now we are trying to bring bigger and better content for you guys. So in today's video, we are going to be opening up all of these beautiful packs that you guys see right here. And ladies and gentlemen, it is a ton of packs right here, man. First and foremost, let me actually go ahead and toss this over there. Bro, that did that really just hit my head? It literally landed. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. All right, guys, let me go ahead and try that one more time. There we go. We got that out of the way. And then we have our booster packs. We have so many packs that they all couldn't fit on the row of the ETB. So, guys, give me one second to take all of these packs out, and then we'll get right into the opening. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we got stack number one right here, but that's not all. We have another stack that's basically the equal size, and like I said, this is almost 50 packs. I believe it's 46 or 47. Guys, they're, the stores don't really sell ETBs anymore, so I really have to depend on the Latios pink collections and the Latios pink collections, so it's kind of like a weird number to work with, you know, 666 every time. Yo, I just said 666 three times. Oh my god. Illuminati confirmed Satan is coming for me, bro. Alrighty, guys, let's stop acting a fool and let's just dive right into this opening. Just make sure you guys smash that like button if you guys want me to continue doing mass openings because your support means the world to me. And also, make sure you guys subscribe if you are new to the channel and welcome. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell just so you never miss a video. Because if you don't miss a video and leave a comment down below with the hashtag Ghoul Army, you could be featured in a video like the individuals I see right here on the screen. Without further ado, guys, enough blabbering because we're just gonna dive right into this. We got a lot of packs to go through. Now, one thing I do wanna keep in mind, just like in my previous mass openings, I'm not gonna say every single card all the time, but it's kinda hard to do it when it comes to Dragon Majesty because there is a hollow in every pack, which technically means there is a potential pool in every single pack. So as always, you guys get to keep the code card. Oh, we are already. Oh my God! We're already starting things off with a panger, bro. <laughs> this is why you have to do the pack trick. Oh my God! I'm done. I am done. It's okay, my angel. It's okay. Get inside that pack. Get inside that sleeve. I have no idea why I said pack, but ladies and gentlemen, we are starting things off with a hyper rare Salamence. That was crazy. That was way too overwhelming, my guy. We also have to sleeve up the homie Lance because we at least got to show some appreciation to the Prism Stars. Because let's be real here, Prism Stars do not get that much attention. But I also forgot to bring the star of the show, aka the best pool in the video, is going to be on this card stand by the end of the opening. So guys, before we continue this opening, we got two Ultra Rares in one single pack. Leave your thoughts, your guesses on how many Ultra Rares do you think we are going to pull in this video. Because I kind of think that we might pull 15 Ultra Rares out of 50 packs. That's my guess. I feel like it is definitely going to be spot on because the last time we opened up 50 packs, I believe we got... 10 or 11 ultra rares but this time you know dragon majesty i believe this set has better ratios than other sets so which is why i'm guessing 15 but leave your guesses in the comments down below because we are going to pull that ultra necrozma we have to guys but we did get a holographic kiram right there so always always nice to get a beautiful little kiram card but we're gonna keep it rolling man we are gonna keep it rolling i'm not sure if i should do the pack trick or if i should just keep it rolling i think i'm gonna do the pack trick but I'm just gonna roll through. Oh my god! Do I need to say more? Do I need to say more? Dude, 
Dude, what is going on right now? Double hyper rare secret rare action, my guy. That is crazy. We got the Solomons. We got the Altaria GX hyper rare, secret rare, rainbow rare, whatever you guys want to call it. We got it. We definitely got it, bro. That is absolutely crazy. And I have no idea why my lighting is going like stupid insane. It's probably because I have packs like all over the setup. So let me go ahead and try to make these stacks smaller just so it's not as crazy. I think that's what's causing it, but who knows? I might be wrong. But ladies and gentlemen, we are starting things off with pure heat right now. We literally, well, I don't know what's better, Altaria or Salamence. I'm going to leave Salamence right there because I do believe it's slightly more expensive than the Altaria. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I honestly forgot both of the values of those secret rares. You feel me? But ladies and gentlemen, smash that like button. Like I said, if you guys smash that like button, we will get some amazing pulls just like what we did right there. And pulling both of those secret rares... I kind of want to do the pack trick from now on. I kind of want to because what if I get something absolutely amazing, bro? I can't miss that moment. Okay. Okay. Let's keep it. Let's keep it rolling, man. Let's keep it rolling because I can't take another secret rare. I see. Dude, if, that, if that's a secret rare, I'm, I'm done. Oh, we got the Zinni of Full Art. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to be a secret rare because I saw the white border and I was going to be like, dude. I am done, but yo, that is beautiful, the pools, the pools are real, the pools are freaking real, imagine if we get all of the bangers early on, and then later in the video, we get absolutely nothing, like, after we get all of our bangers, that would actually be pretty depressing, because I would actually love to have a bunch of bangers back to back to back, just like what we did right now, you guys have never seen this before, I'm pretty sure, three secret rares, well, two secret rares, and a full art back to back that is something you do not see every single day you feel me but we got ourselves a nice little gyarados right there and if you guys are enjoying the video i'm enjoying this so much and this honestly kind of brought back my vibes my good vibes and my determination to actually continue opening up dragon majesty this gave me the confidence boost because if we can pull two secret rares back to back then we can definitely pull the golden ultra necrozma all it takes is luck <laughs> that's that's literally all it takes honestly but we got ourselves a altaria holographic right there but guys let me know how your days are going because i want to know if you guys are doing well you guys are having fun what are you doing for christmas are you just going to be hanging out with the family and whatnot let me know i'm not going to do the pack trick because it is a waste of time and i don't want to make this video too too long because like i said we got 50 packs to open up bro that is so many packs like i don't know man it is definitely killing my pockets because like i said i think i got three etbs and then after those three etbs targets my well, any store was not carrying etbs anymore i was like what happened to all the etbs and they told me all they had from dragon majesty are basically like the premium collections and the latios and latias pins they literally stop carrying the actual etbs which have 10 packs and getting the 10 packs is more convenient to me because one it's cheaper and two it's an even number you get 10 and it's easy to stack up packs you know going by 10 10 10 10 instead of going by sixes you feel me so it's kind of easier to buy etbs as we get the reshi ram gx ladies and gentlemen the heat does not stop here because we got ourselves a beautiful almighty reshiram ladies and gentlemen check that out absolutely beautiful i swear if i get the secret rare reshiram solomons you gotta take a hike i'm sorry but it's a wrap for you my boy we gotta keep it rolling man we gotta keep it rolling i'm so i'm still freaking shocked and so so lost by getting those three pools back to back because that has never happened to me before as we get a beautiful charizard right there now charizard is one of the hollows that i do want from dragon majesty because it does hold more value compared to other hollows from this set but here is the next code card right there and also let me know what you guys are pulling in the comments down below because if you guys are getting bangers on the online tcg as well I want to know, bro. I want to know if you guys are getting some amazing pulls. So we're going to keep it rolling, man. We going to keep it rolling. And also, we got the full art. 
Rashi Ram, dude! Why are the pools so insane? Oh my god, and just before I put it in the sleeve, just look at this beautiful Rashi Ram, dude. It looks so majestic and beautiful, elegant, and self sophisticated. Is that even. Did I even use that word properly? I don't even know. But we're gonna keep it rolling, man, because. We got a full art. Unfortunately, it does not take off Solomance because Solomance is a secret rare, and I'm pretty sure it's worth more than the Reshi Ram. Correct me. Like I said, bro, it's been a hot minute since I looked up Dragon Majesty prices. So now I'm kind of going off rarity when it comes to the star of the show because I won't know the prices until I am editing everything in the video. So, guys, we got two full arts, two secret rares, and we got the white Kira. GX, bro. This might be the craziest Dragon Majesty opening you have ever seen on YouTube. Like, honestly, the pools are freaking insane right now. Like, I don't understand what's going on right now. Maybe all of my bad luck that's been happening to me is finally changing, bro. But then again, I just realized something, guys. I just realized something. I only get banger pools when I open up a crap ton of packs. When I open up like a collection box, a premium box, you know, a 10 packs, 6 packs, whatever the case may be, I get nothing, and it's what I notice. But when I open up a ton of packs, it looks like we get a reasonable amount of bangers, and we don't get that much duds, you feel me? That is kind of weird, but hey, I'll take it, man, I'll take it. And also, one more thing I do want to tell you guys, or ask you guys, if you guys do enjoy these mass openings a lot, or you guys want me to continue doing them, all you gotta do is smash that like button, because these videos, and these type of videos, I should say, before I get into that, bro, we got the Syndra. Did I just say Syndra? I meant to say Kingdra, bro. I said Kingdra, I did not say Syndra. We got the Syndra. But we got the Kingdra GX, man. We got the Kingdra GX. But as I was saying, guys, these type of videos take up a lot of money and i'm pretty sure you guys already know and honestly i'm not balling like that i'm really not and the main reason why i'm pointing that out is because i do sell mystery boxes on ebay and that's where most of these videos are coming from mainly from like my ebay products and whatnot so if you guys want to check that out you don't have to buy anything i'm not telling you guys to buy anything but i'm just saying you know that's where most of the funds come from so these videos are basically made from you guys so like i said in this channel or on this channel we are all a community working together you feel me the entire pokemon community i'm not even talking about myself you know the ghoul army and whatnot i'm talking about everybody in the pokemon community that wants to be a part of it you feel me we are all one you feel me and i actually support that very much you know supporting each other oh my god are you serious are you serious another ultra rare and it is a reshi ram gx with that water energy dude what is seriously going on right now we're literally getting like an ultra rare next pack no ultra rare and then the next pack ultra rare and then the next pack you know it's just a repeating process this is kind of scary, but in a good way, you feel me? I don't know how being scared is good, but, you know, sometimes it is good being scared. You know, like when you have the hiccups, I heard if you get scared, you lose the hiccups. I don't know if that's true, but that's something I've heard. And, oh my god! The Victini Prism! Another Ultra Rare, dude. It's not an expensive Ultra Rare, but it's still an Ultra Rare, man. And I don't even think we're halfway with this opening. I think we might be, but I don't know, guys. After this stack, there's like five packs left. I'll count up how many packs we have left because this is truly insanity. Oh, my God. I I need a moment of silence right now, dude. I, I need a moment to think about what's going on right in front of me, dude, because... First and foremost, let me sleeve up this beautiful Full Art Altaria. That's priority, my guy. But hold up, guys. Hold up. Keep in mind, we got the Salamence. We got the Altaria Full Art, bro. We got the Altaria Full Art. Keep in mind as well, we get a Hollow in every pack. So technically, we got no duds in this video. That That's just absolutely mind-blowing. 
Look at how many ultra rares we already have. Dude. Look at the ultra rares. We have another seeker rare, more prisms, more full arts. This opening is probably going to change my life forever. I don't know how, but I just feel like it's going to change my life. Alrighty guys, I need, I need to calm down. I need to calm down because... We still got a lot of packs left, and if we get some more banger pulls, I'm not gonna know how to react. We got the Charizard, dude. I'm not even mad because I'd rather have a Charizard than any other holographic in this set because y'all already know how I feel about Charizard. I have a crap ton of those Charizards in my personal collection, so let's see. Let's see. <laughs> now I feel like I'm gonna get an Ultra Rare in every single pack, and that's a bad thing because... If I get nothing, I'm going to be disappointed. Now I'm expecting an Ultra, which I shouldn't. So guys, like I said, all these code cards go to you guys. I don't redeem any of them whatsoever! What? 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 <laughs> Dude, I am honestly convinced that we are being super blessed by Lord Helix right now. We got a duplicate Altaria Full Art. We are definitely being blessed by Lord Helix. We are definitely... Lord Helix, thank you. Thank you. First and foremost, thank you. Llama God, thank you. Anybody that is religious in the Pokemon community, thank you. You know, Pokemon-wise, like Lord Helix, Llama God, you know, all of that stuff that we actually made up ourselves. No, 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 no. It's not made up, bro. It's real. It is real. But ladies and gentlemen, we are still not even done with the stack I was talking about because we keep getting banger after banger. I don't know what's going on. I honestly don't know what's going on, dude. Another Charizard. Did we literally have back-to-back -back bangers? We got the Altari. Oh, no. We did get a Komo'o, which actually ruined our streak because check that out. Yo, we got the Charizard Altaria combo times two. That is insane. That is truly, truly insanity, everybody. That is insanity right there. And this is the last pack from the right stack. As we get a Kingdra, dude, I am so done right now. <laughs> I am so done. Like, what is going on right now? I know people in the comments are going to be like, this guy has been screaming like a maniac, but can you blame me? Can you honestly blame me for all of these beautiful pulls? And I threw these cards with such disrespect. I did not mean to do that on camera, but we're going to go ahead and put those to the side because our pulls... I honestly don't know what to think right now because let me count up how many packs we have left. Keep that in mind, everybody. One eternity later. Alrighty, guys, are you ready to know the number? So we have 21 packs. We have all of these pools, but we still have 21 packs left. Like this, I don't know what's going on right now, but if I don't pull the Golden Ultra Necrozma, I cannot be mad. I can honestly not be mad because... Look at all of these back-to-back -back bangers. Maybe the trick in getting best pools from Dragon Majesty is not doing the pack trick because I haven't been doing the pack trick in all of these packs. I think I only did it once and I literally pulled a secret rare, I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. That was the beginning of this opening and I already forgot, which is absolutely crazy because we've been getting banger after banger and I'm kind of forgetting what exactly happened in the beginning of this opening. And I also just realized I tossed the Hydreigon on the bulk, so we're gonna keep it rolling, man. We're gonna keep it rolling. I'm not gonna be surprised if the majority of the packs from this stack are duds. Like, I'm pretty sure we already milked out all of the Ultra Rares from the first stack, because look at this pile, my guy. It's still going to get bigger with all the hollows. Pause on that. Like, no, pause, no. But I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm happy with two Secret Rares, a Solomence and Altaria, it would be nice to get the Reshiram, though. I'm not even gonna lie, but I can't be stingy. I can't be stingy. I gotta be appreciative of what I got, you feel me? Because you may never know what could happen in the future. I have no idea why I brought that up in a Pokemon card opening, but we're gonna roll with it because it does sound like wisdom. As we get a Psychic Energy and a Fur Alligator, like I said, these packs right here, they might be duds, but who knows? We might get the Golden Ultra Necrozma as our final gift from Lord Helix. Let's see, we got a go! Double Gyarados action right there. That's actually pretty cool. I'm not even gonna lie. I actually do like that when you get, you know, the rare reverse and the hollow back-to-back -back of the same Pokemon. It's actually kind of interesting to see that. 
So here is the next code. We have it. Oh, there it is. We got the Dragonite GX, ladies and gentlemen. Which looks absolutely crazy, bro. It is a beautiful little tubby. No offense to Dragonite. I mean, you might have to lose some weight, bro. You kind of looking like the Pikachu from back in the day. Like, Pikachu, he's been working out. Maybe you should hit up Pikachu and be like, hey, yo, Pikachu, let me get on that weight plan. You feel me? Let me get on that weight plan because I'm trying to lose this weight and be a model. No? Alrighty, guys, we're gonna put the homie Dragonite down. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I don't know. I got super hyped ever since we keep getting pull after pull. Like, I am just so freaking excited and happy right now that we got some amazing pulls. We got the Feraligator, and we did get a Dragonite, so at least we got one pull from this uh, stack right here. I'd be disappointed if we at least didn't get one pull from this entire stack, but we'll see. We still got a reasonable amount of packs as we get the White Kiram GX. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Our second Ultra Rare, which is a regular GX. I wonder what is going to be our Full Art or Secret Rare from this stack. If we get one, if we get one, I'm not saying that we are going to get one, but we might. You may never know. Alrighty, Solomence. Bless this Solomence pack with your luck. Because if you give me a banger from this pack, I'm going to go insane. Because you are going to be the lucky Solomence from now on. And it's the Lucky Solomance! We got another full art Reshi Ram. This Solomance is lucky, bro. Remind me to label this Solomance and to bring it in every single one of my videos. I'm gonna mark it after this video. That is the Lucky Solomance. But check that out, guys. We got another Reshi Ram full art. You know, honestly, I'm not mad about the duplicate pools because you guys already know me. Personally, I collect all Kiram cards, all Reshiram cards, and all Zekrom cards. So all of those Reshiram, Zekrom, White Kiram that you see, even the Hollows, you are going to see those in the Kiram collection. That is going to be dropping very, very soon. But guys, my day has been made. Like this stack, we still have a reasonable amount of packs left, as you guys can see. And I'm already set, you feel me? Like, with that full art, it has made my day from this side of the stack, you feel me? So anything else that we get after this uh, Reshiram card is basically a bonus to me, you feel me? It is basically a bonus. So let's see what we can get, man. Let's see what we can get. If we can even get anything else. There it is right there. A Dragonite GX. I'm not even mad. I am not even mad. I'm taking anything. Like I said, anything after this full art Reshiram is a bonus. Unless it is a golden Ultra Necrozma, then that is not a bonus. Because that is art. That is beautiful. That is breathtaking. You feel me? That is going to be a moment, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be a moment. So here is the next code card right there. As we get another Reshiram full art, dude. Are you serious? Am I? Hold on. Let me pinch myself. Ow. That kind of hurt. But, yo, I'm not dreaming right now. We literally pulled three full art Reshirams in this video, dude. That is... Look at that. Look at look at beautiful Reshiram right there, bro. You got to appreciate this card one time. Show some love, y'all. Show some love to Generation 5, to our Unova Dragons. You feel me? All right, guys. I, I don't know... How else to react anymore? I don't know how else to react because we literally got two full art Reshirams from the last stack of this opening as we got a Charizard and a metal holographic energy right there or steel energy, I should say. A lot of people say metal and I don't like it when people do that. You know, when they say lightning instead of electric, I don't know. It's just something that bothers me, but at the same time, it doesn't bother me too much because sometimes I make that mistake as well. And I don't know, it, it basically means the same thing, so I shouldn't really get mad about that, or, you know, annoyed. I don't even know what's the proper word for it, you feel me? But guys, let's keep it rolling, man. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Now I'm scared, but yo, we are getting some holographic energies, and I actually like that because I am going to start getting into the Pokemon trading card game physically, and I do want to create some decks. And obviously, the gold secret rare energies are way too expensive way too expensive so i'd rather have at least hollows you feel me so guys we got the altaria gx regular art absolutely beautiful right there check that out as i get a sleeve if i can even reach it but okay guys let's put that in the sleeve set it down for now because we have five packs left we're gonna save restaurant for last charizard and then we're gonna get rid of all these dragonite packs because it's dragonite man 
is Dragonite. If we pull the Golden Ultra Necrozma, it is not going to be from a Dragonite pack. Watch me pull it from a Dragonite pack as I say that. But that's highly, I highly doubt it's going to be the case. So here is the code for that first Dragonite pack as we pull a four alligator. Why did I say four? For alligator. I meant to say for alligator, not four. But let's keep it rolling, man. Second Dragonite pack and the second code to that Dragonite pack as we get a Zekrom. Told you, there is going to be nothing in these Dragonite packs. It's all going to be in the Reshiram and Charizard. Watch. Just watch, y'all. Just watch. So here is the next code card right there for the final Dragonite pack. As I said so myself, there is nothing in those packs. But we still have our lucky packs right there. Solomence is going to bless this Reshiram pack. That is the one to end things off with a banger. Or maybe this Charizard might have a banger. Who, who knows, man? Who knows? If at least... At least if one of these packs have a banger, then I will be a happy, happy Pokemon trainer. So here is the second to last code as we get the Kingdra Full Art. Let's get it, man. Let's freaking get it, dude. Let's get it. Look at that. Look how beautiful this card is. The blue color choice that they chose for Kingdra, you know, to match the scales on it the color scales it just looks absolutely crazy it looks beautiful man it's some very very nice artwork and i do love the fact that the attacks from kingdra actually only need one energy i love that i have no idea why but i like seeing that when attacks need barely any energy but let's go ahead and put down the king of all dragons and it all comes down to this pack right here ladies and gentlemen we are about to witness and see if there is a golden ultra necrozma in this Reshiram pack. So we about to find out right now. All right, guys, and I am back. My camera literally cut itself because it can only do videos that are 30 minutes long. And then after the 30 minute mark, it automatically cuts and then I have to press the record button again. So let's keep it rolling with this final Reshiram pack, everybody. We are gonna do the pack trick for this one because you may never know, man. You may never know. I'm not gonna touch the back card or the final card is what people love to say. And we're just gonna put the on comments straight to the front and let's see what we pull everybody. So we got the fire energy. We got the fly gun. Why am I saying all of the names? I don't have to do that. And look at me grabbing these cards carefully, you know, with two fingers and everything. Because if I get that golden ultra necrozma, okay, okay. This is the last card right here. The last card, ladies and gentlemen, we got a rare reverse, which is good. No, that's an uncommon. Ooh, sucks to be you, Zygarde. But the final card in this video is oh my, did i really just miss that did i really just miss that but the final card is a hydragon holographic i should have opened up that charizard pack last because that would have made a really really exciting departure is that the right word to say or ending i should have just said ending what am i talking about but ladies and gentlemen let's get down to the recap Alrighty guys, so before we get into the recap, I do want to do an honorable mention to all of the holographics that we pulled in this video. Check that out. I believe there's like at least 20 hollows or something along those lines. I'm not too sure, honestly, but I'm pretty sure someone is probably going to try to count all of these hollows. Highly doubt it. You don't have to, like I said, but we're going to go ahead and put those to the side and we're going to go ahead and do the real recap. And then after the recap, we're going to go ahead and count up how many ultra rares did we pull in this video. And let's see if my guess was correct. And my guess was 15 ultra rares, ladies and gentlemen. So first and foremost, we do have holographic energies, which usually run for a dollar a piece. Like I said, I will be putting the values of each of these cards on the screen as we go to them. But I am going to do it fairly quick because we did get a lot of ultra rares in this video. So like I said, we got a bunch of holographic energies. I didn't sleeve those up yet, but after this video, I will be putting them in penny sleeves. And then next up, we got four holographic Charizards right here. Now, I always sleeve up and save my Charizards because you may never know if they spike up in price. It's really, really random when it comes to Charizards. But it's still a very, very nice pull because Charizard isn't the easiest card to pull from Dragon Majesty, even though we literally pulled four. But that's besides the point, you feel me? But now we are going into our Prism Stars. And surprisingly enough, we only pulled one Lance and one Victini Prism, and that's it. 
which is a good thing because I'd rather have ultra rares instead of prism stars even though they're technically ultra rares but I'd rather have you know regular art GX cards or better you feel me so starting things off with double Dragonite action right there, and it is a very cute looking card. We got double Reshiram action as well. Double Waikiram action as well, dude. That's crazy. And double freaking Kingdra GX action. So many double action right there. And then we have one single Altaria GX card, which is absolutely beautiful. But now we are moving on to the full arts everybody and we have triple action of this reshiram full art what are the odds of getting three full art reshirams out of like 45 to 50 packs that is absolutely insane loco crazy insanity it is out of this world bro but we got three of them we got three and i am very very grateful and then we got double Altaria action of these GX cards, which are absolutely crazy. And then we have a single Kingdra GX. As you guys can see right there, very, very unique looking card. We got Baby Girl Zinnia in the cut, which is a full art as well. And then we got the Altaria Secret Rare. And this card right here, ladies and gentlemen, is definitely one of the best cards that we pulled in this video. But that's not all, everybody. The star of the show, we have the Solomon's GX Secret Rare Pokemon card. Look at this beauty. Hold up, let me focus it in right quick. Check out this beautiful Solomon's Secret Rare, everybody. Just look at that. Just look at that as you feel the card. Well, I can feel it, but look at the texture. You can literally see the texture. It reminds me of Dragon Scales. But guys, that is basically the recap. Let me go ahead and count up how many Ultra Rares did we pull and we'll see who got it right so guys out of 47 booster packs i counted all the packs i made sure it was 47 just so you guys know we pulled 20 ultra rares that is some insane ratio ladies and gentlemen 20 ultra rares out of 47 packs that is hands down the best dragon majesty opening you have ever seen in your entire life no ands ifs or buts you feel me I understand we didn't pull the Golden Ultra to Krozma, but we'll get him next time, you feel me? As they say in Call of Duty. But in all seriousness, we will definitely get that Golden Ultra to Krozma. Because if our luck is this insane, 20 Ultra Rares out of like 40-something packs, then I honestly believe that we will pull that Golden Ultra to Krozma. Without further ado, guys, like I said, if you want to support this video and the channel, smash that like button. That's all you got to do. And without further ado, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Let's try and get this video to at least 500 likes, and I'll continue doing these mass openings. Without further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.